Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new box office breakdown show here at Mac Talks Movies. We're going to break down the weekend of March 4th to March 6th, where the Batman just opened up domestically for the very first time. We're also going to break down the really the Batman's numbers, both domestically and worldwide. Where does it stand for United States films domestically in 2022? And where does the Batman stand in 2022 worldwide? We're also looking at the general numbers in the top five. So please, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, ring the bell. I do this show every single Monday, as well as movie reviews, TV show reviews, movie rankings. So please subscribe, ring the bell if you're new to the channel. I reviewed three of the movies that are top five this weekend on the box office, including the Batman. So please click that playlist to the top of, my, top of your screen at the end of the video. You join my other movie reviews and my box office shows from this previous couple of months. Um, the like video, guys, the thumbs up button. That's the best way to support this channel because it helps the algorithm out so more people can watch this video. And comment down below what movie or movies to see the, uh, in theaters this weekend. Have you already seen The Batman more than once? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's get started. Without further ado, of the top five movies domestically this past weekend. So obviously, not shockingly, The Batman opened in theaters. Now, this was the first Warner Brothers film since 2020. Since Sorry, since 2000 and uh, 19 or i guess 2020 yes yeah. so the first film since really 2020 2019 where warner brothers released a film theaters exclusive because if you know last year um obviously all their films were both day and date releases so warner brothers back in the big market box office wise and the batman overperformed this weekend 134 million dollar opening weekend for the batman it was it was supposed to be the projections were around 125 for the film on Sunday. It goes all the way to 134 for the final number. So big win for the Batman. Second biggest opening weekend ever in the pandemic. Obviously, Spider-Man No Way Home a couple months ago getting 260 in its opening weekend. That will probably never be touched again, at least in the pandemic. We'll see. But the Batman doing really good business for Warner Brothers, very similar, even opening higher than Joker. Now, Joker got a hundred, uh, $1 billion worldwide. The Batman has a chance at that. We'll talk about that more when we talk about the worldwide numbers. But domestically, the Batman did very well. The audience scores are great. The critic scores are great. The word of mouth kind of came out of nowhere. And even though it's a three hour, pretty dark film, it did very well in the box office this past weekend. A lot of people have already seen this movie more than once. The only problem I think moving forward for it to get to a billion dollars is that the Batman has, it's already been announced that the, uh, 45 days after release, the Batman will hit HBO Max. So for people who have maybe waiting on the film or maybe saw it once and want to wait to save the money, 45 days after release, it will hit, um, it will hit digital. Um, well, sorry, when I hit digital, it will hit HBO Max, uh, which is seven weeks after release. So that's where we're standing on the Batman. In second place this weekend, in its third weekend, is Uncharted, $11.1 million, only a 52% drop in its third weekend, gets Uncharted to over a hundred, uh, over a hundred million dollars. I really write at $100 million domestically. So our first two $100 million films of the year come this weekend with Uncharted in three weekends, making $100 million domestically and already the Batman at 134. So cool, good start Uncharted. Again, Sony was on had a great year last year if you're talking about Venom 2 and obviously Spider-Man No Way Home doing big numbers for Sony. Uncharted starting them off on a good year. Still to come for them in April 1st, will be um, Morbius. So uh, Sony will not be far behind now in the box office. Well, we'll see how Morbius does in a little under a month. But Uncharted, getting to $100 million domestically, you would think that would lean it towards a sequel. Dog is in third place in its third weekend, $6 million for Dog, 41% drop off. And domestically, Dog is up to $40 million. So once again, good news for Channing Tatum. This is a very low budget film that did very well at the box office. The only other big release this month is Channing Tatum's new film, The Lost World, I think, or something like that, uh, with Sandra Bullock. So Channing Tatum trying to do a resurgence of really a comeback. He's kind of been away from big time movies for the last couple of years. Sorry, The Lost City is what it's called. Um, but Channing Tatum was a good way to start the year. They've got the Lost City in a couple, two weeks from Friday. So that should be a lot of fun as well. 
Spider-Man No Way Home in its 12th week is still in the top five. It dropped to number four, though, $4.5 million, only a 22% drop for Spider-Man. It's up to 786 here domestically, which is, again, third all-time domestically. We'll not be able to catch the top two films on that list, but uh, and Spider-Man No Way Home will be hitting digital in two weeks. Because uh, it's a Sony film, it's not an exclusive Marvel film, it will not be hitting Disney Plus for quite a bit. Um, it will obviously hit uh, digital for a while, then it will go to, I believe, Netflix will get it first, and then after Netflix has run it, so it will be a long time before it gets on Disney Plus. But it is fun to compare that Spider-Man No Way Home, 14 weeks in theaters, it got to be exclusively in theaters. And for the Batman, it will only be exclusive in theaters for the first seven weeks before it hits HBO Max. So it just shows you that the Batman could possibly be leaving a lot of money on the table. If it doesn't get to a billion dollars, that would be one of the biggest reasons why. Spider-Man, 12 weeks, all 12 in the top five, and two more weeks until it's available on digital. So we shall see Spider-Man, how much longer can Spider-Man hang in the top five. And just staying in the top five this past weekend was Death on the Nile. Fourth weekend for Death on the Nile, $2.7 million. That's a 30% dip, $37 million for Death on the Nile. Pretty solid stuff for Death on the Nile. Has done most of its uh, good, most of its money from internationally. We'll get to that in a sec, but Death on the Nile is at number five. Let's look at the domestic charts led by the Batman now. In one week, the Batman is the biggest movie domestically so far this year. Oh, again, we're only in the first week of March, but still 134 for the Batman. We'll keep watching that. Obviously, Uncharted getting to $100 million this weekend. So we are at two $100 million films. Scream is at number three to $80 million. It will not be able to reach the $100 million club, but that does not matter. That film was made very cheap and has already been profitable. So good news for Scream. Jackass Forever, which missed the top five for its first time this past weekend, is at number four at $54 million. Dog is at number five of 40. Death in the Nile is at number six of 37. Mary Me is at number seven with, thir- with 21. $18 million for Moonfall at number eight. The 355 is stuck at 14.5. And number nine of Redeeming Love is at number 10. When we're looking at the top 10 worldwide for American-based films, Uncharted comes in at number three worldwide. Um, Uncharted has made 271 worldwide. That's 100 domestically and 171 from internationally. So really good numbers for Uncharted. Um, the Batman is number six already in one weekend domestically, but was already released uh, limitedly internationally uh, the week before. The Batman's at 144 million uh, worldwide, uh, currently worldwide, but I think it opens going to be opening around 278, which will put it in third place. But we'll talk about that more next week once the numbers become official. The international numbers have not come through all the way officially yet. Uh, number seven currently is Scream. Scream is at 137 worldwide, uh, which is 80 domestic and 57 uh, uh, internationally. And then Death on Nile is at number eight with 115 worldwide, with only 37 of that coming domestically, but 78 world uh, internationally. So it's interesting to talk about these films. Scream did much better here domestically than internationally. We were complete reverse that Death on the Nile did amazing internationally, but really struggled domestically. Um, so that's his numbers. The Batman, number one at, uh, atop the domestic charts and this past weekend, it should be that for quite a long time. Uh, probably we won't get into this big of a movie probably until Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which hits in a couple of months, May 6th. Other than that, big, uh, not, this, is a, this is the slowest month for quite some time. March only has two major releases. Uh, the Batman, which just came out, and then all the way um, two weeks from Friday, which will be The Lost City, before we get a big time April, which includes Morbius, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Ambulance, Fantastic Beasts, The Streets of Dumbledore, The Northman, which then leads right into the summertime with Doctor Strange. So um, a very slow month of March, but still a lot to break down in the month of March. So please subscribe, ring the bell to notify when these videos drop. I'll be breaking down the Batman's second week in the box office. How much does it drop off? How much does it increase? The good news for the Batman is that there's no competition for the next three, uh, next two weekends at the box office. So opportunity has come for the Batman to dominate the box office a little bit longer before the next major release coming out on March 25th. So that's my box office breakdown for this past weekend. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, ring the bell, comment down below, like your video, and I'll see you guys soon.